guys welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be an unboxing of the new Joan Malone, Joan Malone um, solid little perfume portable uh, compact cases that I'm sure you guys have seen if you guys are big fans of Joan Malone and you like perfume um, I'm subscribed to their emails and I got emails advertising this little compact metal thing that I'll show you now and you can customize it and pick two fragrances that are solid perfumes and you can carry them around everywhere with you um excuse the lighting guys it's been storming all day it's thundering right now um but since this is not a makeup video i decided the lighting didn't wasn't really relevant i am going to be drinking my tea that has some powder um that i put in it that i have to start drinking now because I've been doing an intermittent fasting. I've been doing intermittent fasting. I can't pronounce that word. I have, Lord knows I have tried. Basically, I have been fasting for 16 hours a day, um, every day, um, just to see if it helps with, um, I've been suffering from excessive bloating and just, um, digestion and, you know, my body's just, I don't know if it's that I work a sedentary job and it's like I'm not walking enough but you know anyway I started doing this fasting and I've noticed a huge difference um, I'm definitely not bloated at all anymore um, I feel so much better um, I've lost a couple pounds obviously because you're eating less calories um, but anyway I have to do all this before 7 and it's 5.30 so I haven't I haven't eaten dinner yet. So drink up. Okay, let's get started. That was a really long intro. Bloomingdale's was having a beauty event that I attended um, in the springtime, and when with any purchase, you were getting these little cute coasters, and they had an artist in the department that they hired just to come in for that day that was doing this little, these little uh, personalized paintings of wildflowers. And so I didn't get a painting, I got a coaster, thank God, because I don't know what I would have done with the painting and I feel like I would get more use out of a coaster that I can use right now and I'm drinking my tea. And so the bow matches the coaster, very cute. Their pa packaging at Joe Malone, they never ever disappoint guys, so I mean, <laughs> I love them let's get started so let me open this up take out my little coaster the coaster is metal not plastic so that's good and he's right now it's pretty you were given the coaster obviously let me explain you could put all your little Joe Malone perfumes on them so if you have a 30 mil bottle you can put like two or four four 30 mil bottles fit on top of this little coaster so it's up to you i thought it was a cute idea i already have a tray that i put my perfumes on so i wouldn't really use that for my perfumes but anyway so the two scents i chose were, were my favorite scent which is english pear and freesia and i chose a fragrance that the lady um at the department told me goes well with english pear freesia and that i don't own which is nectarine blossom and honey so this is what the refills come in they're like these little envelopes as you can see and then inside you have the solid perfume mine is not in there because they already set it up for me um, but they gave me the envelopes in case I forgot what one of them, one of the perfumes were. And then on the inside, let me just, everything's wrapped in black tissue paper, typical um, Jill Malone packaging. And then on the inside, you got just a little box. A little Joe Malone box with a little bow and 
You know, I love these bows, but I can never for the life of me put it back together. I tried to memorize how it is that this works, but I can never, can just never get it to, 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 to go back. Anyway, on the inside is the little metal, it's made out of uh, metal. Let me just show you. It's a black compact, super sleek. And it's, it weighs quite a bit, I'm not gonna lie. And basically what it is is you have two solid perfumes in here. And let me just show you how this slides open and slides out. If I can, there we go. So this is the fragrance on the bottom, and then, let me, and then this is the fragrance on the top. So you have two solid perfumes. And it also comes with this little pin right here. And this pin is to pop the solid perfumes out once they run out. See in the back these two dots. You just uh, poke them with the pin and the little solid refills will pop out and you can put new ones in. Now, you can buy the refills at Jo Malone uh, once you run out. And I will list in my description box below how much um, each refill uh, costs. But basically, the compact is $36 just the compact and then each fragrance is 20 bucks but i will in case so that you don't you know if you forget along this video and you don't want to play me back you can just go down in the description box and that information will be down below and then i also ask them to give me uh one of their velvet of uh, black um bags because i thought of something while i was there this is really heavy I have a lot of things in my purse and I just don't want this to get scratched up or, you know, have it open, you know, because it's magnetic and it's, you can open it fairly easily, you know? So you have the top layer that pops open and then you have the bottom layer that pops open. And I would hate for this to like be rummaging in my bag and for it to open and have things like dent, have perfume all over my purse. Ain't nobody got time for that after each one of these refills costs 20 bucks. So I asked for one of their little um, bags so that I can um, store the little compact in and then just put that in my purse. And you know, every time that you buy from Jo Malone, they're so sweet and they always give you some really good samples. I got um, English Pear Freesia Body and Hand Lotion and I got another hand lotion with English Oak and Red Currant. These are some pretty good samples. They're uh, 0.24 uh, fluid ounces. That's a lot of lotion for a sample. And then I, she also um, gave me a sample of the Fongi, Fongi, Fongi Pani flower. I feel like that's not spelled correctly. And Silk Blossom. These are two fragrances um, that are also launched in the springtime this year. So. <sighs> Silk Blossom, I like the way it smells, but I feel like it doesn't last on my skin at all. And Fongi Pani, I mean, I like it when I initially spray it, but I feel like it becomes, uh, like the pH of my skin, it becomes too sweet um, on my skin. What else do I got in here? And then she gave me just two more uh, samples um, of perfumes. And the two samples that she gave me, I don't know why my camera is not focusing. Uh, what do I have here? I have Red Roses, which is one of my all time 
fragrances too that I've been wearing I would say for the past month I love it because it smells like roses but it's got some musk it's got like a musky scent in there that I really really like and it does really well with the pH of my skin and I usually don't do well with musky scents but it's like way in the back you know and then she also gave me a sample of the tuber tuberose angelica fragrance so this fragrance is those black bottles that they have so um jo malone has the clear white bottles and you know the other black ones that are technically much much um stronger than the okay my camera doesn't want to focus so you guys know what these samples look like um it's just these black bottles that the cologne in there is supposed to be much more intense than their regular line. However, there are they are significantly much more expensive than the original one. Um, but anyways, I got a ton of samples and I got the compact that I really have been wanting just to put in my purse. You put it in this uh, black bag. You just seal it up and just put it in your purse and it should be safe uh, from everything now how did i first first hear about this super quick backstory um about this so i follow fleur de force on uh youtube and she's in the uk she's always working with joe malone and she came out with her own um little compact with her two favorite fragrances but you could it was only available to, for purchase in the uk and it came with a super cute light pink um dust bag that you can uh put your compact in which is where i got the idea like i because when I, you buy it at joe malone you don't get a dust bag so i was like let me get a dust bag please so that you know it doesn't get like damaged in my purse but then ingrid uh, which is another YouTube influencer also came out worked with Jo Malone and it came out with her own two um, Scents, but again that wasn't available for sale in the US because when I tried to get in I Could not purchase it So I just waited until it launched in the US and then I went in and just played around with some fragrances. The people at Jo Malone are very nice. They're willing to help you. So if there's a scent that you like, they'll tell you all the scents in their range that pairs well with that particular scent. And then you can try it on your skin and walk around the store just to see how it does um, with the pH of your skin. So just to recap, the two fragrances that I got was English Pear Freesia and I'm looking for the little envelope and Nectarine Blossom and Honey. Out of all the scents that paired well with the English Pear Freesia, this one was the one that smelled the nicest. So you don't always have to combine your fragrances if you're not familiar with Jo Malone. Jo Malone is a perfume house that you, they are very big on layering. So you, um, usually people go in and buy two fragrances that they can wear alone, like separately, or they can combine. I usually wear my Jo Malone fragrances separately, but my English Pear Freesia, I find that I wear, it's my favorite one, so obviously I wear it separately. But that one I find is the one that I like to come layer the most with other fragrances. Because I also do have the Peony Suede, but I don't find that, I maybe I just haven't been pairing it with the right ones. But I find that that one's a little bit harder for my pH, the pH of my skin, to pair with other fragrances. So that's what I ended up doing. I just went in, they helped me pick. They said, okay, which one do you definitely want? I said, I definitely want the English um, pear and freesia. And I just said, I just don't know what to pair with. And they took out all the colognes for me that were good to pair with that particular scent. And I just went one by one, one by one, one by one. And there was a lot that I smelled initially that I didn't like. 
and so I didn't bother trying them on my skin because if I don't even like the way it smells coming out of the bottle I'm not gonna wait for that to like linger to then for me to then like it later so anyways this video has already gone on long enough than it should have this was just supposed to be a very like quick little unboxing and just my um, thoughts on the compact I like it now I haven't used it obviously this is an unboxing so I will have to get back to you on lasting power on this if it's worth it if I will repurchase the refills I will let you guys know but anyway guys that completes this video thanks for watching and have a good day bye